So maybe we could speak to just like these these credits that we got here. Um, I know with Evan, you got K Camp, you got Trouble, Yo Gotti, Sammy, Rich Homie Kwan. You've got a solid list here. Um, and two things I kind of want to know. Actually, three things I want to know. What was your favorite placement? How you got to some of these, and what you look for when you're trying to work with an artist. Okay. Um, I might have to have you ask me each one. All good, one. all good. Million places, but um, uh, as far as the the favorite placement, that's very hard. I think for any producer to really answer, um, because there's so many different variables. But what I will I will start with saying, like, I'm not going to even go with the biggest one. I think the most important and like favorite placement that I do have is actually uh, from a local artist um, from Cincinnati named Lantana. And uh, the reason that that's, he had a track called All Hustle No Luck. Um, <clears throat> quick backstory, we used to go to high school together. He went to jail for a very long time. He came out and he was just like, I wanna take this music serious. Uh, Cincinnati really don't have much of a track record of like music success as, aside from Boosie Collins, High Tech, um, and thing and Osley Brothers and things like that. Um, but from a hip hop standpoint, you know, especially in this generation, we don't have much of a success. So when he got out, we did a track. We did the track just like all producers. You go off faith. You know, everybody say they're gonna make it. You don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, but we did that record. And they pretty much got him out of the city, right? Got him out of that hole, stuck in your only in your town, and uh, it led him to being able to get a, a deal with RCA, um, Sony, and uh, he on the remix we was able to get Gotti, Pusha T, and Bun B, which are two, two or three of my favorite artists, you know, and, and as well as Yo Gotti. So that's one of my favorites because it came from a city of mine where a lot of people are not known to make it out. And that's very hard to do. So it wasn't that initial Jay-Z placement or that, you know, Meek Mill or anything, but it was like, yo, for us both to not have any kind of recognition in the industry and we were able to create something that at least got us to 106 in part, that got us, you know, to where you're on Sway in the morning and these people are vouching for you. That's big to me because it's from our hometown and, and we wasn't supposed to do that. We wasn't, they didn't count on us to do that. So that's one of my favorite, I hold that to the heart. Um, and the other ones are pretty dope. I think the K Kent record is dope too, because, um, I'm big on building relationships from like, you know, from new artists. So like everybody, again, a lot of producers think you got to wait and hope to get the Jay-Z placement or the Lil Wayne placement, but it's those, it's those up and coming artists that's bubbling up and you got to know when to time and catch it and actually, you know, that's the easiest way to network with an with an artist. I'm always trying to find out who's the new artist. Uh, I lived in Atlanta for a while, went to Art Institute. I learned a lot about marketing. I met Stewie Rock. He taught me a lot um, and introduced me to a lot of people that was coming up. So instead of being a bougie producer and like, I ain't working with him if he ain't got a number one record right now. I'm like, no, nah, his sound is dope. He got a little, he got something going on. I think this could be something. I'm going to put my all into this. And that's how I met K. Kent. <clears throat> and I met him right on the cusp of like, before he got signed and like right when he was really, you know, obviously he had a, he had like two records out that was, that was doing really well. And, uh, and that's, that's how I was able. So that's like, that would be like, I guess my second favorite uh, because again, it was like that up and coming kind of, kind of approach of the underdogs. I think you kind of answered all three questions in okay, that. Okay. Um, <laughs> told us why you wanted to work with him and, and how that came to be. And I think that's pretty cool. Like, so in the case of like Lantana and K-Camp, like K-Camp, I'm a huge fan of. If y'all don't listen to K-Camp, when he says he's the float god, he's not lying to you. Definitely check him out. But I think in the case of, of artists like that, especially based on the stories you just, just shared, I think that the most beautiful part of that is like everybody's just hustling and trying to get it. And um, you bond better that way. Like there's no like... I, I'm sunning you. There's no little brothering here. It's like, we're just trying to create. And I think that's really, really dope. So um, congratulations on, on those tracks.